Welcome to the Expansive with Anna Gatman podcast, where we talk about how to participate in the spiritual evolution taking place at this time on our planet, how you can accelerate your spiritual growth to meet the challenges of our times, and personal tools to help you thrive, flourish, and help shift human and planetary consciousness, because one degree shift can change our world. I'm your host, Anna Gatman. Thank you for joining me. Whenever we want to manifest something, we want to shift something within ourselves in order to be able to change something in the external world. And whenever we want to do that, allowing is required. Allowing is required. Now, what do I mean when I say allowing is required? Let me first start with an example so it's concrete, and then we can talk about it a bit. So imagine that you're doing a meditation and there's relaxing music and you hear the voice that's guiding the meditation and you're invited to relax, relax your jaw, let's say, your mouth, your tongue, your jaw. So you hear that and so now you have the intention to change something, right? You want to relax. Now, you might think that you're just thinking about it and you're relaxing, but it doesn't just happen in isolation. There's a whole relationship of elements that have to come together and each one showing up fully in order to allow you to manifest the intention of relaxing your jaw and your mouth. So, Let's say you say, I would like to relax my mouth now. I would like to relax my tongue, my jaw. And so it might happen really quickly and you don't notice it, but pay attention. The muscles in your jaw have to participate. And you have to allow them to participate. If you hold them like this and you say, I'm not letting go, you can't let go, but I just let go. I just give an instruction, let the muscles let go. Your nervous system has to adjust. So the muscle of the tongue has to let go and lie quietly, gently at the bottom of your mouth. It's hard to talk that way when you like this, but that is how you relax your tongue. And when you relax your tongue, your jaw can let go. So the muscles are working. The nervous system is working. There's a myriad of things that we don't even know that are working. There's probably chemical um, things that have to occur in order for the muscles to move. And everything, there's, there's a whole network, interdependent network of variables and conditions that need to come together in order for you to just hear the instruction, relax your jaw, and for you to go like, okay, you need to find it. How do you relax that jaw? Oh, the now I need to relax my shoulders. Okay, well, let me see. I'll wiggle them a bit. That's an instruction. You know how many things have to happen for the instruction to move up and down your shoulders? And then you just find it somehow, and the muscles relax, and Maybe your breathing becomes deeper and suddenly you find relaxation. So the point I want to make with this is that nothing happens in isolation and nothing happens alone. You are not doing everything alone and the world doesn't um, hang or weigh on your shoulders. We live in a relational world. We live in a connected world and in an interdependent world. And just like now you're going, oh my God, there's the nerves, the muscles, chemicals, hormones that have to move, shift, do everything that they're doing in order for me to release my jaw or my shoulders. The same goes for anything else. You want to change your financial situation. You want to take a trip with family and friends. You want to take a week off. I mean, just think if you decide to take a week off, most of us have to organize many, many different parts in order to be able to take a week off. 
financially it has to work. Maybe food-wise, we are staying at home or we're going on a trip, so we have to think about all of that. You might have to notify people. I mean, nothing happens in a vacuum by itself. And so when I say allowing is required, is you need to allow the rest of the world, all the other elements of whatever you're focusing on and you're wanting to manifest and shift and create a real change in your world, in your life, you need to allow it to happen. You need to allow all the different parts that are playing a role, many of which we know nothing about. You don't know all the different parts. You need to allow them to do their part. You see, our muscles are here in order to experience what they do best, mobility, flexibility, hold our structure. That's what muscles are made for. And they want to live that purpose. So we need to let our muscles participating in releasing our jaw or our shoulders. It's a collaboration between your nervous systems, your muscular structure, your brain, your intentions, your soul desire, and then all the myriad of things that we don't think about that we don't know unless we're an expert in a specific field and then we know what's going on in the body or if it's in finances, around money, there are people who are experts and know exactly what needs to occur or anything else that someone is an expert in that field. They know more what the different variables are for change to occur. But most of us kind of live our life and have intentions and we go, I want to do this. I want to change that. And then we think that the weight is on our shoulders that we need to do it. And I have definitely grown up like this. I think it's really a cultural thing. We have grown up like this because we've learned that we are separate, that we're born separate. And so we need, in order to succeed, we need to push. We need to be the ones who are doing everything. Here's a different way of thinking of it. We live in an interdependent, interconnected, holistic world. And everything needs to participate in order to make something happen. It took billions of years for evolution and so many pieces to come together for planet Earth to come into being and for humanity to arrive to where we are today, where you are today, where I am today, right? Billions of years. Respect. Respect is what we need for how much it takes and how many unseen pieces are part of manifestation shifting, changing our life. And so here is the invitation. The invitation is to allow things to unfold. It's to allow things to happen. It's to allow all the different parts that are participating in your intention to come together to reorganize themselves, restructure themselves, make new connections reconnect in new ways between the different elements in order for what you want to occur and the bigger your dream the more it takes time and i can tell you i have to practice a lot of patience for the big dreams that i have that are taking the time that they need to get organized so i can tell you about it but When I deal with my own issues, it's as hard as it is for you and for anyone else. And so allowing is required. Allowing is required, is required to let all the elements that need to participate to come forth, restructure, reorganize in order to manifest what you want to manifest and in order to shift what you want to shift so you can see the change you want to see in the world. So have your intentions, have your goals, have your desires. And then the universe is hearing you. Everything is consciousness. Your muscles are consciousness. 
everything is consciousness. Money is consciousness. It's not just you know pieces of paper and and metal coins. It's a consciousness, a living being. Everything is a living being. So just as soon as you voice your intention, the universe begins to organize for that intention. And then if you're scared that it won't happen, or you're scared that it will happen, you're stopping and you're giving two opposing directions. I want this to happen and I'm scared, so I'm going to stop so it doesn't happen. And then all the elements are starting to organize and then they kind of stop or it becomes messy and you you just go back to feeling awful and stuck. And so have your intention. The world is listening to your intention. All the pieces are listening on a consciousness level. Everything is listening. Now allow. Allowing is required. And allow the universe to come to you with miracles, with synchronistic events, with insights, changes you might need to do in your mindset, emotions you might have to release or embody more fully in order to be able to manifest what you want to manifest. Just listen, allow, and just give the rest of the world, the universe, the opportunity to come together with you in a co-creative dance to make it happen. So play with it and see what is it like. What is it like to have an intention and then to allow? To have an intention and then to listen. To listen to what, what needs to happen in order to allow what your intention is to come into being. Play with it. See how easy or hard it is. What, how big of a stretch is it, big or small, for you to allow? And start listening to the universe as it's responding to you and to your intention and giving you signs of go right, go left, do this, do that, in order to make it happen. And then the biggest thing of all, easier said than done, and I know this from experience, have patience. And let patience be the love that you offer for what you want to be co-created by all the elements that need to participate in it. Blessings.